In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a video with pictures and music in CapCut. So this is kind of like the final product. So you can add as many pictures as you want and you can add whatever music as you want. You can also add whatever transition you'd like as well. So let's get started. So open up CapCut and create a new project. And from here, what we can do is we can add our images. So inside of CapCut, you need to go to import and then go ahead and find where your images are. Maybe you've got them all in one folder and you want to add them. Uh, what I would recommend you do is highlight them all or hold control and go ahead and click on all of the images. I'm just gonna add these three for the video. We can then click open. It will then add them into the media section. Now, one thing that I would do before you drag them in is kind of think, how long do you want these images to show for? Do you want it to be two seconds, 10 seconds? Is there a lot of text in the pictures? Like how long do you want these pictures to show for? So if you go to menu and then you go to settings and then you go to edit, here you can see image duration. Now by default, it'll be on three seconds. I'm gonna choose 2.5 seconds. If we click save and then drag these on, now these images will show for only 2.5 seconds. Now it's important to change this first before you drag on your images, because I'm not sure if there's a way to change it after. So now we've done that, the next thing we wanna look at is the ratio. So what ratio do we want this video to be in? So if you click on ratio, you can choose 16 by nine, which is gonna be the custom YouTube dimensions. And then you can also choose nine by 16, which will be the TikTok dimensions. Obviously you will need to choose what your video use case is. I'm gonna choose 16 by nine, which is kind of like the YouTube and standard 1080p HD dimensions. Now you may notice once you do that, you've got these black bars up here. This is gonna be based on your image size, right? So now what we're gonna do is just resize these images. So let's go ahead and click on the first one. So make sure you've got it selected. Then go to video, go to basic, and I'm just gonna increase the scale a little bit so we can crop out these black bars. We'll do the same thing here for the second one. We'll just increase the scale. And then again for the third one, and you can do this for all of your images. Now let's go ahead and add some transitions. Then we'll add the music. So if you go to the top left here, you'll find the transitions tab, go ahead and click on it. Now CapCut has many transitions. Some of these will be pro features, but you can go ahead and scroll through these and just get a basic transition if you want. I'm just gonna use this blur transition, which should be pretty seamless. So I'm gonna drag this on to the partition between the first and second photo. I'm gonna do the same for the second and third. And now let's play it and preview this. And there we go, it goes nicely into the pictures, right? It does a good job of transitioning. Now let's add uh, media. So you can go ahead and find media. If you go to Google and you wanna use this for YouTube or you want to have the rights to the media, if you type in here royalty-free music and go to Pixabay, they have a lot of different royalty-free songs you can use. I'm just gonna download the first one, but all of these music tracks here you can use in your video projects no problem, they are royalty free. Once that's downloaded, it will go into your downloads folder. You can then go to the import section on CapCut, click import, and then choose the MP3 file that you've just downloaded. Now, once it's in the media section, drag it onto the timeline, and you may want a very specific part of the song. If so, move this tool, and then you need to go ahead and split it. So if you go to the split tool here, you can split where your marker is, and then delete the bit you need to delete. And obviously you can craft and cut out the perfect part of the song that you need. We don't need all of this at the end either, so I'm gonna go to the end of the slideshow, make sure we've got the audio track selected, then we can go ahead and split again and delete the bit to the right. So now we've got our audio track. One last thing I'll do is I'm gonna click on it and we're gonna turn the volume down a little bit because it probably will be too loud. And now let's preview this. So we'll move the marker to the start, we'll click play on CapCut. And there you go, that's a very basic slideshow video with pictures and music. If you wanna export it, go export in the top right hand corner. Make sure that you've got audio selected. If you don't, it won't export with audio. Choose your resolution, it will be 1080p probably by default. Choose your folder to export to and the name, then click export. It will then export to that folder and you can go ahead and then preview it in your folder. So I hope that helped you out. Let me know in the comments if it did.